Welcome back, Captains, to another Infinite Galaxy video. This is Dragothian here. Today, we're going to be talking about the Space Concert system. If you go from your main spaceport, there's a little Space Plan button here at the top. And it's basically a monthly reward system by doing just stuff in the game, just playing the game. So there's two different flavors of it as well. There's a part of it that's free. So we always like free, right? Free is good. It gives you rewards for resources, speed ups, XP tokens, gear blueprints, which is always required. But then if you want something a little special from this event, all you have to do is get the paid portion of it, which I think is like $9.99. And you get yourself a fancy brand new legendary crew member. This guy right here, Asham Rich. And he's only attainable by doing this event right now, at least in the game. The only way you can get him is by doing the space concert event. And again, it's every month or so. Um, they refresh this to that so that you can redo it and have new rewards and things like that. So every month you want to be when you're playing the game, make sure you're doing the missions inside of this and you'll be able to get the free rewards for sure. But then if you want to spend that 10 bucks, you get access to a lot higher tier rewards like a million deuterium, a million uh, titanium, you get corium with it as well, 200,000 nickel steel. And again, an exclusive legendary crew member only accessible through the space concert. So to me, I want to collect them all. This is kind of like space Pokemon for me a bit. I want to make sure I have all of the crew members that you can get inside of this game. So I went ahead and got this and I'm glad that they put it because this summons the guy, right? So I'm glad they put it on level one. So even for those of you that might not be able to play this game all the time and you're really casual about it. Um, you can still do a lot in this game and have a lot of enjoyment. But the other cool thing is, again, for something like this, you'll get this legendary crew member right off the bat. You basically start with level one. So you get this stuff right off the bat without really having to do too much at all. And again, as you go along, you start to get more and more and more and more. You get more tokens for him as well, as long as as well as more resources and um, Rebel Citation devices where you could get even more um, other crew members, not just him, but also other crew members. So pretty neat system here. I really like the way that they've set it up. And again, the missions that you're going to want to do, you want to do the daily missions. You want to do campaign shop pur purchases for the season. You want to make sure you're recruiting crew, which we'll be doing that on our next video. So we'll get a few more of these, which will be nice. Um, along with other things that you want to do, you want to go through these two tabs here. The tab is the missions here and then daily missions and season missions, complete them and you'll be ranking yourself up very nicely inside of this. Now, what's the point of the video? Well, I wanted to make sure that you understood that the value of this is really you're getting a lot for your money if you decide to do the, the premium piece of it at the bottom, but I also wanted everybody to know that you get a ton of stuff without having to pay for anything. You just have to make sure you're doing the missions, daily mission and season missions. So as you're playing the game, as you're building ships, as you're doing pirate kills, as you're doing uh, deep relic events, as you're doing arcane ghost ship events, all of those things feed in to that system. So it's pretty darn sweet. All right, so now that you know how to actually get Asham Rich, I wanted to summon him for you. We're gonna go over him really quickly as well. Give, him a, give you a little bit of a crew member uh, mastery guide on what he's gonna be used for if you should use him as a captain, things like that. So let's go ahead and open him up and unlock him. I've got 25 out of tw uh, the 20 needed to go ahead and get this guy unlocked. Let's go ahead and recruit him. Here we go. There we go. Asham Rich, staff officer. If there was, if there was no war, all of us would be very good friends. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can only be friends after the fighting is over. I like that. I like that a lot. Legendary commander, new crew, heavy on command, decently heavy on logistics, light on tech and combat. So again, if we're looking at what he does, so 10 points into command, five points into logistics. And then again, like I said, combat and tech are at two and three. His first skill here, flagship structure, and it'll activate once you actually put him on your crew member board, but this will provide uh, HP for all flagships in your formation. So. Pretty sweet whenever you're going out for combat. HP is a huge deal in this game. HP is very, very nice to have on your flagship. It, it increases your tankiness. It gives you more health to stay out on the battlefield. And you can stack this stuff up pretty quickly using some of the other commanders on your list here. And then from a logistics standpoint, from a 
growth standpoint, Ashram Rich is a commander that provides spaceport construction speed. And it's a pretty sizable number here. Look at this. 7.6 all the way up to 43.3% at max, which again, legendary commanders are hard to max in this game. So you have to kind of think about that. It takes a while to get all those uh, crew cards and things like that. So you want to make sure that you're using this guy effectively. He's going to increase your spaceport construction speed by quite a bit at level one, unlocking it at level three for this particular guy. So level one will get you the uh, HP of the flagships right off the bat. And if you can advance them to level three, you'll start getting the 7.6% spaceport construction speed. And then as you level him up further, you'll get higher and higher tiers percentage here. So you'll be able to really start increasing your speed on your construction because to be honest, if we go back to the spaceport construction speed stuff, I'm on level 26. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to want to get that too. For sure. Let's go ahead and get that. Every time you summon a legendary crew member, you got to get this. This thing is an amazing pack. It's very inexpensive. You get more of the, the tokens there to get what you need. XP, more rebel citation devices, all kinds of good stuff. So very, very nice. But let's go into the command structure here. So from a speed standpoint, if I wanted to level up my command center another level, it's almost two weeks, two weeks. And obviously you can speed these things up with speed ups, but if you can reduce that by having a commander on your crew member panel, when you hit the upgrade button, that will help you reduce the need to use speed ups in that fashion, especially if you're using universal speed ups and not just building speed speed ups. So very, very strong there. I like the new commander. And again, he is only attainable on the space concert event and you can get him at level one. Very, very simple. This will unlock your commander. And again, if, and again, if you get the $5 bundle, when you unlock him, that should give you level two. You should be able to upgrade him to level two. In fact, let's go ahead and do that really quick before we wrap the video up. I really like the space concert event though. It's very nice. There he is. There we go. So we can definitely do that. Advanced to, to rank two. Still can't unlock the dispatch mastery yet, by the way. There's also a dispatch dispatch mastery feature as well. Let's go ahead and advance. I need five more, which I'll be able to get on the space concert event. So very, very strong. Now, captain wise, if you decide to captain with him, that's where the, the that's where the dispatch mastery comes into play. So this will uh, effectively increase the size of your fleet. So you can have more warships joining your fleet, um, which will help again when you're talking about fighting, the more warships you have in your fleet, the better chances you have of defeating your enemy. You're going to be tankier. You're going to be doing more damage, all those good things. The more warships you can bring per fleet, whenever you're coming out to fight, the better off you're going to be. And if you have enough warships to actually uh, field your full fleet, you are going to be in very good shape. I really like him. He, he has a good captain skills with the HP bonus to flagships and the dispatch mastery for increasing your fleet size. And if you just want to have him on there for your board for just, you know, logistical purposes, again, he has a very solid spaceport construction speed, so you can swap him around however you want. Again, I might use him actually as a, uh, a captain because of those benefits, the HP, and the fleet, le uh, the fleet leadership, having more warships on your, your fleet is always very, very strong. All right, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And uh, again, really liking the space concert functionality. They added this about a month ago or so, and um, it's really good. I, I like um, the way that it's set up and the rewards are really good too for what you're for what you're putting out there. If you don't put any money into it, the rewards are decent. But if you put that 10 bucks in, you get a nice legendary commander that you can use end game on the battlefield. And then if you decide to put them on for your growth purposes, just on your, your crew member board, then you can definitely use that when you're trying to level up your uh, spaceport, trying to get that thing rolling up and save yourself some speed ups. So hope you've enjoyed. See you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one and take care.